The back rooms. You've been here before. Level 106. The progressive decay. Survival difficulty. Class 4. Unsafe. Unsecure. Medium entity count. Level 106 is the 107th level of the back rooms. The date of discovery is not known, and what the level is has only been described through accounts of both the helpers and those who they aid to escape. Level 106 appears to be a never-ending series of hallways that all lead into various household rooms, examples being bedrooms, living rooms, storage closets, and kitchens, with the occasional generator room being the exception to this. Image Caption the only picture of level 106 that exists out there, found in level 33. Description Level 106 is segmented into three main areas, each area seemingly infinitely long, and four floors deep. Though each one shares the same themed rooms, they each get progressively more decayed. Section A Section A of level 106 is considered the safest of all three sections. This is because of the lack of entities, and the ability to sustain groups. The rooms here are as follows. Kitchens, storage closets, bedrooms, and, in minor cases, generator rooms. All computers or similar items in this section are in working order, though they're all locked with a password that seems to not exist or one that keeps changing, since no amount of hacking has been successful in getting them to boot up into the starting window. Hence, this current conclusion was drawn. The TVs work also, but they're all permanently tuned into a clip of a segment from the film The Adventures of Mark Twain, where a character who is practically the devil causes havoc to a population of sentient clay beings, killing them painfully. The snippet always ends with the quote, we can make more if we need them, before going to static. All TVs seem to turn off when no one is near, so if you find one that is already activated, it usually means that the settlers are, or were, nearby. In the kitchens will be various items of food and water, and the appliances will work as intended, though will activate and deactivate seemingly on their own. The cooker will change what hobs are on and the intensity of the heat. Microwaves will choose a random time to be set on for, even when given a specific amount, etc. There are lights in this level, but not all of them work. Though there isn't a single room in this maze left in complete darkness, there will be dark spots in a few. Thankfully, however, these aren't hiding any secrets. At least in Section A, that is. Section B. Section B of level 106 is slightly more dangerous. The rooms here are all identical to the ones from section A, but they are all more dilapidated. Wallpaper is coming off of the walls. Water from the pipes drips from the ceilings, and some of the furniture has even been upturned, destroyed, or removed, leaving only faint outlines in either the wood or carpets. The technology in these rooms are very hit and miss. Some will work, others won't, though activating them is a gamble in more way than one, since turning anything on in this section of level 106 will usually attract entities. Examples of entities being hounds, smilers, and rarely, clumps. Section C. Section C is by far the most dangerous section of level 106. The rooms here are more dilapidated than the other sections, and are also covered in vegetation, ranging from nothing more than weeds all the way to sprouting trees and fully fleshed out bush growths. There is no light in this section, and entities are around everywhere. All the rooms have nothing more than basic furniture items, which are all also destroyed. There are bed frames, desks, empty bookshelves, counters, and more though no smaller and more unique items of decorations, like pillows, books, food, or otherwise. Any technology brought down here ceases to work until exiting, meaning the only way of illuminating this level would be by oil light, fire, gas lanterns, etc. Traversing through this section can be challenging, 
Since the vegetation can block your way, slow you down, or trip you up when you're trying to escape an entity, or simply traversing normally. A strange effect that this level has is that you feel like you're watched, especially when the TVs are turned on and off, when using other technology, or when you reach Section C. One document found described it as being, quote, as if there's something constantly behind your back, something you can't see or even know, but it's there, always, end quote. Whether this is just an effect on one's mind or something more sinister is not yet known. Some have believed it to be an entity that lives on all floors. Others just believe it to be paranoia or fear. Faces, outposts, and communities. The Settlers. The Settlers are a group of around 8 to 10 people. They live solely off of the products and food Section A of Level 106 has because they all lack the courage to delve into Section B and C to escape. They make camps around 1 to 3 rooms out of bed sheets and couches, rationing out any food they find in the surrounding few rooms before then moving on. If you run into them, you can join and leave at any time. They do not accept any more than 10 people, and will become slightly pushier with warning you to join if they have less than 8 people. The Helpers The Helpers are a group of people who aid others that end up here in escaping. They have been lucky enough to find a collective amount of staircases in proximity to one another, giving them an easy way down to the lower levels and eventually to escape. Judging off the few eyewitness accounts and stories, the Helpers and the Settlers do not know of each other's existence. The Helpers do not have much fighting power at hand, and instead have blocked off the unnecessary doorways and rooms on your way down to escape. They too are friendly, and will only be aggressive if given a reason to be. They will only give an individual food and water if they look to be in dire need of it, since the rest is reserved for the volunteers. The Reports the first piece of evidence that hints at this level's existence is a journal that was found randomly on the floor in level 0. What happened to the writer is unknown, though they seem to have catalogued their time in the back rooms, as well as their normal lives in the front rooms. For the sake of simplicity, only important snippets of their time in level 106 have been given. So, I have no idea where I've ended up now. I thought this strange place couldn't get any weirder. Mono yellow rooms that are bright. Mono yellow rooms that are dark, abandoned offices, and wherever else the solid maze of different styled rooms has brought me over the weeks of me being in it. Now, however, I've ended up somewhere new. What makes this place so weird is that I don't remember how. I'm just here now, I guess. There are bedrooms, a room with a pool table, and TV, a kitchen, and other regular rooms. Really? If I could find a way out, eventually, I'd like that though I'm worried I won't be able to do so if I can't even remember how I got here. It's been two days now. I tried cooking some food in the microwave, but the timer set itself to 40 minutes. I just left the room entirely after that, with some biscuits after I couldn't get the microwave to stop. So I just left it alone after that. There's no saving those noodles anymore. Though there is more to this paragraph, it has been left out due to a lack of relevance to the level as a whole. I met a group today! They called themselves the Settlers, which is amazing. They just seem to be eight people who live off the food in the quote-unquote safe area. I asked what that was, and they explained that there are three sections to this level. There's Section A, the completely safe zone I'm currently in. There's Section B, where everything isn't as well lit, though there are more of those monsters I briefly saw. Then there's Section C, which apparently is where escape is though there's no light there, and it's hard to traverse through because of plants. When I asked how they knew of this, they all went sad and silent. I think the dots can be connected. It's been about two days since I left the settlers now. As much as they have a nice community, I need to get myself out of here immediately. So far, I've just been walking around aimlessly. I found bedrooms with attached kitchens, multiple storage closets, a few computer rooms, and countless hallways. There's no one else I've encountered as of yet. It's just been myself. I turned on the TV and it just played some claymation film where a guy that has a mask for a face kills clay figures. No clue why, and it just loops. It was weird to say the least. 
Now, I seem to have found a brand new set of people. After what's felt like weeks of walking around aimlessly, I finally reached some new people. This group calls themselves the Helpers. I wondered if they knew about the settlers, though they said they have no idea who they are. So, wherever I am, this place is clearly big enough for two groups to have no contact with one another. The people here are pretty friendly, and even gave me some water, which I was in great need of. They said that they found an area with multiple staircases that go right down to Section C, and therefore, the exit. They said for me to get some rest, and they'll help me down when I was awake. I'm currently writing this right before I sleep. Here's to getting out. What a hectic time it was getting out. Not long after I woke, the helpers wasted no time getting me out. A nice woman called Melody helped me leave. She took me down the staircases, past a generator room, and a hallway, then down two more sets of stairs. After passing a kitchen, we went down one last flight of stairs, and into what I can imagine being section B. The lights weren't always working here, and I could hear the occasional monster behind the, all the barricades this small group had set up. Going through some decayed rooms, and down four more flights of stairs revealed Section C. The place was ridden with plant life, and a distinct lack of life. I could see a long arm trying to reach for Melody and I through one of the barricades, though it couldn't reach us. The rooms here only had the most basic of furniture, and even then, all of it was broken. Empty bed frames, bookless bookshelves, empty and doorless cabinets, just complete darkness and decay. The flashlight Melody had went out, and we had to follow the occasional oil lantern placed along the floor. Still, after four more levels of trekking, we reached another staircase that simply had a door at the bottom. Melody said to me that the door could take me to a variety of places, and that she wished me luck. I nodded and thanked her, entering the door. I arrived back at the original mono-yellow room, with the humming lights and weird-smelling smelling floor. From here, the writing becomes no longer relevant to documentation. Though there have been other documents found that are rumored to be about this level, this one is the most prominent, except for the image found attached to a letter in level 33. The image is theorized to be from this level, considering that the letter makes reference to level 106's layout, and the fact that the writer found a smiler in section B and countless clumps in section C. The Schrodinger Entity The Schrodinger Entity is a being shrouded in complete mystery. The Schrodinger Entity is the name given to the being or beings that are rumored to either bring you here, watch you, both, or neither if they don't exist. The only evidence to suggest that they exist is the feeling of being watched from somewhere behind you, the TV is being turned off whenever no one is around, how people keep randomly appearing on this level, the fact that one document found linked the idea of this entity with something that constantly changes or alters the passwords on the computers or the settings on electrical devices, and another document which also pointed out how the video on the TV could link to level 106, where the strange entity the clay people can't see torments them. The quote, we can make more people if we need them, being a link to how people are brought here, perhaps after enough people die. As of right now, the only reason why the Schrodinger entity isn't being considered real is the lack of true exploration and evidence. Besides eyewitness accounts, that is. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The way of getting here is currently unknown, though it seems relatively commonplace that people arrive here considering that there are enough inhabitants for two groups of people to exist here. Exits The only known way of exiting this place is to reach the final staircase in Section C. The staircase seems to take people to a variety of different levels. The different reports catalog going to Level 0, Level 4, Level 13, Level 26, and Level 33, though there are most definitely more levels that this level exits to.